There are brand new hidden units in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, as well as a brand new faction. Are these new units powerful? I don't know. Let's find out. We're back in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator with a brand new faction and new hidden units. And I'm really excited to check them out because these were created by the same guy who made the hidden units faction. For those of you who don't remember the hidden units faction, well, that guy created the Greater Dragon. He created One Punch Man. He created the Emperor and Odin and this Thor and the Ignis Slasher and Ares and the Dread King. This guy created all of these units and now he's got new ones. Let's check them out. Hey you! Did you know that only 25% of you are actually subscribed to my channel? What are you guys doing? Hit that subscribe button. Join us. Become part of the 25%. Now apparently this is just the beta of this update and a whole update's coming and in the final version you're gonna have a new Egyptian map Sadly, we don't have it yet. So for the time being, we're going to start and check out the new faction, which is right here, wow. the Egyptian faction. And already you can tell that it's still in beta. It needs a lot of work. Let's take a look at the guard and see what the guard is about. And the guard doesn't have any clothing, but there's something in his hand. What is that? Huh? It looks like a whip, an incomplete whip that it should be a whip, but now it just looks like white sausage Links. That's kind of gross. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, give me give me a bunch of these guards. A whole bunch of floppy white sausages, and we'll have them fight some uh, some hoplites. Okay, we'll have a, a bunch of hoplites over here, and let's see what our lovely sausage units can do. Are they gonna attack in a whip like faction? Yes, you can see them. They come out, and that just looks wrong. Are you guys getting like this uncomfortable feeling? Watching those long, floppy, white things attack. I can't. I'm not done with that anymore. I need more. Oh, it's so wrong. <laughs> These guys are like one-shotting each other with a long, floppy, white weapon of death. I like the shields. The shields look good. They look really cool, very Egyptian. I just can't look past the weapon. Okay, 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 okay. Let me take a look at the sand mage who also doesn't have any clothes on. Clearly again, this is still in beta. What does the sand mage do? He has the staff similar to what the, uh, the tribal faction, but what is the sand mage going to do? Whoa, whoa, there's a sandstorm around him. And now the squire was tossed into the sky and he's pushed the sandstorm away like a sand tornado and the squire was unable to do anything. I was actually kind of cool. This faction is going to be sick when it is all said and done. Can one of these guys take out a bunch of melee units with a simple sandstorm? Look at this units get tossed around by the sandstorm, but the rest of them do get close enough to finish off the sand. Finish. There it goes. <laughs> I was gonna say, why is this animation so powerful? Uh, yep, now we're just going to break the game. I mean, what's the worst that can happen when you've got like 50 sand mages in a row all summoning sandstorms? Why do I move my head like that? I have no idea. Summon a bunch of squires, and here we go. I want to see the most epic of sandstorms from all of these mages. Send them flying. Let's go! That's so cool! Dude, that is fantastic. Sand the sandstorms went the wrong way. Why are they going that way? Uh, sand mages? Use your sand powers. <laughs> if you surround somebody in sandstorms, like a 360, I'm gonna try it. We're doing that next. Yeah, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. What's, what's the worst that could happen? Hobbits! We need we need hobbits in the middle. They're gonna have a blast. Get it? Sand. Bla Never mind. Here we go. Sand mages. Whoa, boom! <laughs> okay, that's cool. These units are very cool. Those powers are very cool. And when they're they're decorated and like dressed and stuff. They're gonna look fantastic. Do I get a sand mage god power? Now we've got the uh the architect who is also naked and nothing going on. He's just a wobbler. This is just a wobbler. Well, let's test it. Bunch of clobbers. Come on, Mr. Architect. What can you do? I uh, I don't think the architect is ready yet, guys. Find them. What about the beast master? Dude, he's on a crocodile! There's a crocodile in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and he's wearing a crocodile outfit, and his legs are doing things that legs shouldn't be doing. Dual wielding Kopeshes? Okay, please tell me the crocodile actually it works. He moves, the legs move, and the teeth go jump, and the Kopeshes go smash. This is cool. Oh, the tail? The tail's fantastic. 
Not bad. This is a legitimate unit. It looks great. I mean, clearly, again, this is still a beta, but it looks fantastic. No, the crocodile's down. No way. Red team won. Those Kopeshes did some damage, though. Jeez. Yeah, I'm just going to summon a few of these. <laughs> I don't know what. What are they gonna fight? They're gonna fight the dragon. Give, give me the dragon. Give me, give me, give me, give me the greater dragon. This will be fine, okay? This will be fine. A whole bunch of crocodiles versus a giant dragon. <laughs> no, the crocodiles have been. Oh my god, I've been ground slam. The dragon is just wrecking the crocodiles. <laughs> ah, look at him go. <laughs> that was so mean. That was so mean. Now we have a scribe. A sun chariot. Now those would be cool. Let's try the scribe. Okay. Um. Give me that rune mage. Remember the rune mage? I'll, we'll check out the rune mage in a second, but give me that rune mage vibe. What's this scribe gonna do? What is that? It looks like a black hole, but it's different. It's smokier. It's wispier. This is strange. Okay, scribe. You put it out into the world, and you just destroyed them. It's like a black fog of death. Okay, how much damage can this black fog of death do? Okay, that's 65 hoplites versus this death fog and it just sucks it the hoplites are turning towards it they're trying to attack this death cloud almost as if the cloud is a person and how quickly he can summon another one very quickly so because the because they turn towards the cloud as if it's a person to attack it and since he can summon another one so quickly guys i could probably put 200 hoplites on this battlefield and the scribe might not even care. 200 hoplites versus the scribe's death cloud. There it goes. It goes out into the world. And again, they all they all ignore the scribe. And they're they're turning their backs on the scribe to attack the death cloud. And the death cloud is dope. Oh, oh, never mind. One hoplite wants to say hello to the scribe. It's almost foolproof. Like, it's almost good enough and powerful enough that you could just use one scribe against large armies and not care. Okay, the dark cloud is gone. Many hoplites are dead. The hoplites are turning to the scribe. Can the scribe summon another cloud in time before he gets killed? No, he can't. Almost an insane army destroyer. What a crazy unit. This one's called the Sun Chariot, and there's a camel. The picture is a camel. This should be interesting. Here we go. Sun Chariot. It's actually a chariot. It's like a ch Egyptian chariot being pulled by camels. <laughs> we have camels in totally accurate battle simulator, guys. Okay, let, let's see what this chariot can do. I'm gonna grab some squires. We'll do a little squire test, okay? Okay, impress me, chariot. It gallops forward. They throw boomerangs, which is very cool. And they shoot these green arrows, like poison arrows. Look, it's just four riders on the chariot, and they just decimated all these squires okay i, I want to see more than one chariot okay let's go with this with this with this go with this go with this go with this go with this that's plenty that's fine and then we'll grab some hoplites maybe some minotaurs maybe some jousters right we'll get some some horseback guys on there let's see what happens chariots versus the hoplites the the camels bowl their way through the hoplites but they're dead oh no the chariots actually the, the camels aren't that strong but the DPS of, of the archers and the boomerang units, guys, their damage is jacked. And now we're going to take a look at the uh, the queen of the Egyptian faction, the Nile Queen. One might even say Cleopatra. Oh, and look, look, she's on one of the other, uh, the, the, what is that called? It's basically a, a caravan, nope. a, a chariot. Nope. Um, what's going around her head? Whatever it is, the character model is not done yet. That needs work. Cleopatra being carried by her slaves on her chair. And let's see what Cleo can do. I'm going to grab some farmers, some peasants. I can just picture Cleopatra going to town on a bunch of peasants in her own world. Here we go. Cleopatra. Yo, 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 yo. She's got some godlike power going on. What is Cleo going to do? This energy is erupting out. A beam of energy has come out of Cleopatra. Landed amongst Ooh. the farmers and exploded in fire. That is the craziest power. Please tell me it's a god power. Please tell me about brand new god powers. Oh, that is so cool. That effect is fantastic. The fire, the, the explosion, all of it. And even though her carriers have been killed, even though actually this carrier just kicked the butt of this farmer. She's cool. Now we gotta check out 
the secret units. There is a total of three secret units in this update. And in the update, when it's done, you'll have to go out and try and find them just like a regular secret unit. And the first one I believe I saw was a boomerang unit, 140 points. And the boomerang units don't have any clothes. And they are holding on to these very basic boomerangs. I think we discovered this boomerang in a god power previously. It still needs to be designed, still needs to be worked on. But the question is, how much damage do these uh, boomerangs do? I'm gonna summon a bunch of units and we're gonna put the boomerangs to the test against some squires. And do the boomerangs actually return to the, the throne? That they're dead. Are those boomerangs or are those mid lightsabers? Okay, let's upgrade the squires to knights and see if the boomerangs can still deal that much damage to the knights. I want to see the boomerangs return to the original owner, but so far they're just the boomerangs are. Okay, 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 okay. They're bouncing around. They're bouncing around. Look at that. They're just bouncing amongst all the units. Two volleys. Two volleys to kill the knights. Let me replace the knights with uh King Phillips. Okay, upgrade it even further, even more HP. Let's get the boomerangs in action, shall we? Being tossed out, you can see the boomerangs flying forward. Look at that, that's so cool. Landing amongst the King Phillips, and they're bouncing back and forth amongst them, and then being stuck inside of them. And the King Phillips, okay, so they can take down squires, they can take down knights, but they can't take down King Phillips. So, so you know, King Phillips, go and defeat them. I don't know what the shopping motion was, I'm sorry. The next secret unit is this guy called the Pot Thrower, and I know what this is. And you know what? Just to demonstrate, yeah, we're gonna summon 27 Pot Throwers. Guys, I know what this is. I know what's about to happen because we used it as a god power. So let me just uh, come over here. We're gonna go and grab some cavalry. Okay, and the cavalry are gonna come in and they're gonna save the day. Hurrah for the cavalry. They're not gonna die at all. In go the cavalry on the Pot Throwers. The Pot Throwers are like, whoa, decimated. And they throw the pots and out come all the snakes and the cavalry don't care. <laughs> They're just running through all the pot throwers. Okay, maybe the cavalry was too strong. So the pot throwers throw snakes. Again, we encountered that god power in a previous episode. And our third secret unit is a mummy. Really, a mummy? Let's put it on the field. And it's a block. It's a white block hovering off the ground. I wonder what this is gonna do. Okay, we got a mummy. So let me go to the Viking faction. We'll grab some headbutters. Okay, Helga, a couple Helgas. We're gonna come in and say hello. The mummy's doing something. How? Where's Helga going? Helga. Oh, dude, it summoned mummy. It actually summoned a mummy. Oh, that's so cool. What's the mummy do? The black fog following the mummy as it moves. Very cool. Are we gonna summon another one? Oh, blue victory destroyed the mummy. So that's not a spawning object. I thought the white thing would be a continuously spawning thing. Maybe it's a sarcophagus. Maybe when the model is done, it's gonna be a sarcophagus and out comes the mummy who definitely needs a buff if a bunch of Helgas could just destroy him like that. For a final test, I have put the evil faction here against the Egyptian faction against the secret units as well. You've got our wobbly white guys. <laughs> The guys on the crocodiles, the guys summon sandstorms, summon snakes, summon boomerangs, summon mummies, the chariots, and then you've got Her Royal Majesty Cleopatra, who's about to be stabbed by a teleporting stabby assassin guy. Let's see what happens in 3, 2, 1, go! The fight begins, all the stabby teleport guys come to the back, but the boomerangs wipe them out, and the workers have put Cleopatra down. In the front, the sandstorms are decimating the evil faction, doing a boatload of damage, chariots have been destroyed. Our evil demon god has been slain by a wobbly boom the boomerangs. The boomerangs did the work. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this faction. If you did, click the links on the screen and watch more awesome content, guys. And as always, thank you very much for watching.